On road safety, yeah, so we, we just need to... We, Okay. Yeah. Everybody knows why the chicken crossed the road, right? But why did the old person cross the road? Well, he didn't. Because he got f***ing run over! The truth is that old people are indeed a very vulnerable group of road users. But would most people agree though? We wanted to find out. So we interviewed people on the streets of Singapore with one twist. At the end of each interview, we asked them how they think they'd react if they saw someone in danger on the road. And after that, we put someone in danger for real right in front of them and then recorded their reactions. Do you think Singapore roads are safe? It could be, it could be better. Some Singaporean drivers have very poor driving etiquette. So most of the incidents that happen on the road, right, do you think is the responsibility of the driver or the pedestrian? Uh, both. Both lah, takes two hands both, to clap. Right? I think everybody has to have this awareness. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Everybody plays a part. Uh. Are there any specific demographics that you think are more vulnerable? I would say the younger kids, because uh, a lot of times kids can be douchebags. And what everyone knows. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> most vulnerable are the elderly. Uh. I think the elderly are more vulnerable. Because generally they tend to be a little bit slower. Their reaction time will be a bit uh, slower. But do you think like as bystanders, right, we should help people if we see they are in trouble? Yes, yeah. we should. So if someone is like obviously going towards danger, yeah, like yeah. a road, yeah, and yeah. you know something's going to yeah. happen if you don't interfere. Of course, of course. Like dashing a red light, it's like just shout and then they'll like, they'll stop. Okay. And then they won't get hit by something I've like I've helped old ladies cross the road before. Ah. So I can put that in my resume. Well, it looks like they all passed the theory test. Now for the practical. So we dressed up one of our MOF actors as an elderly man, put him on a motorized shopping trolley, and sent him speeding towards an open road. Okay, wait, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'll give you a bit of time. To, I need, just give me one minute. Uh. Yeah, sure. Okay, just give me one minute. We can be proactive uh, by guiding them or asking if they need help. Oh, I see this kind, oh. this kind of action. But see. what does he need help or what? <laughs> so it's more towards education. More towards education. Yeah, we need to educate them. Do you all didn't feel the need to go and stop him? No, I think he's just stealing a trolley. Yeah. It seemed like he knew where he's going. Is that an old guy or what? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think so. To really intervene, I think uh, it's not in our culture. There was one time I helped an old man trying to get across the street. Uh. He was pushing me away. So there are some cases where we want to help, but they don't allow us to help. People here are so sensitive, they get offended, you see, you know? Do you see that guy? Yeah. He was too far away, yeah. is it? So you I didn't feel like... run, yeah. I just went to eat this now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What made you react so quickly? Because he do like he was gonna die. Oh, wow, that is heroic, man. So you have done this sort of stuff before, lah? No, no. Oh, no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never had the opportunity. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So now, another thing for your resume? Yeah, another thing for my resume. Another thing for your resume. Right. Yeah. Hire me, if, uh, whoever's watching. <laughs> well, how would you have reacted? To be honest, I probably would have reacted just like most of the people in the video. Which isn't ideal because... The number of elderly pedestrians who suffered casualties increased from 2014 to 2015. And from 2015 to 2016, it increased again. The most common cause of such accidents attributed to the elderly is jaywalking. And for drivers, it's turning without due care. Right now, there are more than 500,000 elderly people in Singapore. And by 2030, this number is expected to increase to 900,000. And by 2050, I will be one of them. Now, I know the situation we reenacted is kind of extreme, but we hope you understand the main point of the video, that elderly road safety is a huge problem that affects everybody. So please share this video with everyone you know, young and old. Because the more aware we are of the theory, the better we'll do on the practical. Just like this guy. This is actually a yeah, part of our video. So we were doing a video on road safety. See? <laughs> And you girls were great that you guys helped him out because that's why I was asking you the questions about whether you would help out. 
Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please remember to share the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Peace.